This part I would like to uh, talk about structuring your grooming setup into groups so you can um, work faster with less uh, recaching time. Let me show you in the groom here. So this is our basic setup which we did and we have basically one, um, one uh, groom node to control all of our areas. Now, when we when we keep grooming and keep adding um, guides, it's it's becoming really slow to recache that one that one node here. So what we want to do instead maybe is to split up our area, uh, our model, or our guides into groups and control smaller smaller areas um, with uh, separated um, groom guide groom nodes. Let's do that by uh, dropping some uh, guide groom nodes. Like we have one guide groom here. Um, let's make it three nodes for now. And now we want to group. So what we want to do first is get a paint group node, uh, a group paint it is called. Connect our skin to it and paint a certain area um, of effect. Let me um, color or just use something so we, so we have feedback because it doesn't show otherwise. Um, just go here and now you can see we can paint here. Um, let me also get like the symmetry, like reflective, if you want to do it on the X axis and now reset all changes, um, paint again here, and you see now it, it works on both sides. So we want to have like this part here being one area. And now since we got that group paint, we can just call it a uh, GR for our GR paint. And now we need to get that group onto our actual hair. So let's get a, a group transfer. What that does is basically the same as an attribute transfer, but it transfers a group from an input to, uh, from a, a source to a target. Um, our target should be the planted guides here. Actually, you can use the planted guides or since we already did the setup here, let's move everything down a little bit and move this here down something like this. So that is basically our input before we start doing any grooming. And from here we want to use our, our grouping. Uh, let me order this. So we paint the group and now we transfer the group. Um, we turn everything on off except of points because we are getting it from um, from the points of the skin. And here the, the distance threshold, we can set it to something like 0 0.5 should work fine. And now if we turn off the shading, I wonder if you can see it already, not yet. So now we got the group on the points of, of uh, our hair and we want to have it on the primitives. So we make a promote and we have here a group promote, same as we had for attributes. And we can say, okay, we want to have the group paint and we want to have it from points to primitives. And now when we select it, you can already see that we got that group we painted on the mesh now on our actual hair. So that's the first step and now we want to do some blasting. That, that means we want to delete um, some stuff and keep some stuff. So first we delete here and say the group paint and we want to delete non-selected. And this is where we want to now um, groom. So now when we, when we use our groom here, I can already do that. It will um, change it will change our guides here now correctly and we can start grooming. 
But we also want the other guides now, which are not part of this group. And one more thing. Like, let me check out the group paint here. Oh yeah, we only have one side, so I actually would not need to paint on both sides. So it's fine. Nonetheless, um, we go from here. So here we blasted everything. So we have only the, the guides which are in the group left for the group node. And now we want to do the same. We want to blast, but the selected ones. So everything which was in the group gets deleted and we, got the, we get the remaining guides. This color node, which I created before, we can actually nicely use that one. And we can move it here. We can move it here and color this here in red. So now when we go here and turn off our shader, our guides are red. When we go here, they are not yet because we have to recache. So now, uh, now the input got updated and our guides are red. All right, now let's say we want to have another guide groom for everything else. So basically we just, let me also get our skin here. It's actually here. Let me get our skin. Let me get our skin VDB and also for, for this guy, for the skin VDB. Let me reconnect here so we get it from here. Skin VDB. All right, so now we have it set up. So we got a new guide groom here. We set uh, recache strokes. Oops, uh, recache strokes. And we do some strokes on this one. So we have the visualization. So here we got this guide, then we got this guide, uh, this, this groom and this groom. Now let's drop down a merge node, merge the first and the second and enable it. And now we got both um, parts in one in one output again. Uh, let me check a mismatch of attributes. Color. Yeah, we are missing the color here on this one. So let me get a color input on this one. So we have all of them nicely colored. Let's say we color those guides, which are which are re the remaining ones, we color them in, uh, in like a bluish color. And now when we merge, got red, blue. So to better see what's going on, we might want to color these nodes here. So let's get a color here. We said we got red and here we got like that light blue. Oh. Let's see if we can find a color which fits better. Yeah, that fits good. And now you, you instantly know when you want to groom here. Oh, I want to groom uh, in this area. So that's this color groom here. I need to change something here in this area, change to the correct color of what you see in the viewport. And you're good to go. And now let's say we want to also have a group for the ear. So we have to continue to um, break up our stuff. We just move our guides, which should be the remaining, which are not grouped. We copy the this first graph, move it over. Um, now as input here, we need to get um, an input for our group transfer and stuff. We use that blast here, which is the remaining, the remaining guides, and we can have a new um, a new graph here, when we say reset all strokes, nothing is showing up because we have to now 
paint on that group node here. So we reset our changes and we say we want to have the ears. Let me go here, turn that off. So now we can paint in real time basically and see what we paint. All right. So we are fine here. We de delete some areas here. One second and we are done. All right. Also remove that area a little bit here. Okay, so that's a new group here. Um, we go back and enable this again check out what's going on here there is an error now which is which said the group is already already exists um, to fix that we go to the blast and say delete unused groups we do the same on this one here and for the next time it's gonna work already when we copy it because we now have to change already and we need to reconnect to the remaining we connect now the second group and we also throw this to the verge now the only thing we need to do is change the color. We say, now we want to have it yellow. So we also change the color here to yellow. And we can continue um, grooming. We can say, okay, now let's change it here a little bit. Jump, jump, jump. That works. Um, so you might, might wonder why there but there's still like uh, green areas here, like green guides. This is because we did not recache this guide. So it still has the input, which it had before. So once we recache it, it updates and now we only have, or now we have the correct groups. And you can see there is like a green hair left, which we might want to have in, in the red area. So we go back to this group here, or to, to this paint and add this part here. We recache this one since we know it changed and we recache this one since we know it changed. And now we, we have like that one guide in our red group where we can change, where we can paint now. And yeah, that's about it. So let's do it one more time to add another, another group for the, for the nose part or for the eye part. So we copy this part move it over, move it over without connecting. Um, already color it differently, like blue. So we also go to the color and say we want to have it blue now. And now we need to paint our group. So we go here again, we disable it quickly so we can paint faster. Um, we say reset all changes and we're good to go here. All right. So we also want the eyebrow to be part of this area. And like this part here down. Okay, now we changed. Um, how this part works, we recache it. Give me a second. Oh yeah, I need to enable it again. Forget. We recache it, so we have it here. Um, we reconnect this output of the blast to our remaining guides, also recache that one. And the input here, we have to also change it. So it goes from one group to the next group to the next group to our remaining ones. And we keep recaching the parts which we changed. Like for this, for this part needs to be recached. And now if we go to the merge and add this new group, we have now uh, a new group for the eyes, which we can adjust separately. As you can see here, and now let's say I want to 
to those here below. And when I have to change it here now, like on those here, you see uh, I have two strokes over the eye area and I say recache, nothing is gonna destroy the eye area. It's, it's always gonna be fine. And the good thing about this setup is when I now say I want to plant new guides here, like, all right, I want to plant one here and I want to plant another one um, in this area. Like now we planted one in the red area and in the like default green bluish area. Um, we know we have to go to the red area and recache it. So we have that new strand here and we can already start working on it. And we know we have to go to our green area if you want to adjust that new one and recache it and it's, it's added to our group already. And we can keep working on that one. So once we're happy with that, instead of using this brush guide here and then the resample stuff, we just um, connect our merge, um, have the resample, have the mirror. It also mirrors the groups and changes we had. And that's like a perfect way of working with areas on your groom and keep like the recaching time slow and also keep errors away. When you, as example, you add a, a, a plant a guide on the ear area and you recache and suddenly uh, the recache stroke changes stuff in areas which you didn't want it to change something. That can happen for whatever reason. So this is like a safe approach to working groups and areas.